okay part b now so just to let you guys know i copied the entire equation from part a over here so this this is going to prove to be very important to this question and now for part b it wants us to find the maximum value of this equation here and then the smallest value theta for which this maximum in the first part occurs okay let's have a think now one thing i want you guys to notice is that inside the bracket here you can see it's three times bigger than this expression here this means this is three times bigger than root five sine theta minus 1.107 so that's three times bigger so we can replace that in a minute yeah so this means now in order to find a maximum value you can really just do it just by looking at the equation you don't even need to differentiate because that's what they usually want you to do so if we look at the right hand side we can see that the maximum value of this expression here where well, the maximum value is sine is always going to be one why because in a sine wave and again sine this one will look a bit like this because it's shifted across we can see that the highest point is a one but the lowest the minimum value will be negative one so we can essentially say that all of this here is plus one if we want to maximize it yeah so let's put let's substitute everything back in the equation so this means that the maximum value of m theta equals 40 plus remember the constants are always the same so instead of 3 sine blah blah it's going to be 3 times the right hand side so it be bracket 3 root 5 and instead of writing sine the maximum value sine is 1 all squared and that's it and then you just smash in the calculator and you should get 85 done that's part I done now for the second part to find the smallest value just go ahead and differentiate the equation so again rewrite the equation neatly so we're going to have m theta equals 40 plus and instead of the expression here it's going to be 3 root 5 sine and then blah 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 yeah all squared just leave us three dots that represents everything's like there yeah the theta minus 1.107 now to differentiate that actually we well, don't even need to differentiate because you because you've got the maximum values 85 we can equate this equation to 85 so we can say 85 equals 40 plus 3 root 5 sine blah 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 all squared and then just solving to make sign the subject so subtracting 40 you get 45 square root so you get plus minus square root 45 e equal oh, and divide 3 root 5 equals sine blah 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 sine inverse this remember you got plus minus you you're gonna get inside the blah 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 so theta minus 1.107 you're gonna get <clears throat> what is it uh pi over 2 or minus pi over 2 and that's it and then to find and then the it tells you that the angle has to be between 0 and 2 pi so if you have to make theta the subject you're going to add 1.107 across so of course you're not going to use this one here that's not going to work because what is pi over 2 actually in radians it's always good to check what that is um i could be wrong so pi divided by 2 is 1.1507 yep it wouldn't work so adding this across theta is going to equal pi over 2 plus 1.107 what does that actually give you 1.107 okay that's about 2.6 how many decimal places wow whatever 7 8 so that's the kind of answer we're looking for 2.678